So the theme is balance. We're going to do all kinds of standing balances, and we're going to do some fun seated and on the mat balances. But to start with, we're going to do something very simple, and I want you to not think about being judgy with your body. Your body's going to have to figure out how to, how to deal with wobbling, but it's mostly a mind thing. So if you wobble, so what? If you fall, so what? It's not that far down. <laughs> Just try to laugh when you're falling. Inhale, bring your arms up. Use your fingertips and press them through. Micro bend your knees. Your feet can be hip width apart. Exhale, thumbs behind your heart. Inhale, arms coming up. Mm. Exhale, thumbs behind your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, with the hands and the arms still straight, or the hands connecting to each other, shove your left hip over and go into this curvy spot in your spine. Keep your throat nice and open. Inhaling. <sighs> Exhaling. Drop your right hand. Feel the tissues talking to you. Inhale. Reach way, way, way over. Exhale, go deeper. Inhale, arms coming up. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, arms coming up. Exhale, shove the right hip over. Micro bend your knees so you have plenty of room in the fascia to do this. Inhale, reach, reach, reach over. Oh. Exhale, drop your left arm. Mm. Inhale, really reach over. Exhale, drop again. Inhale, arms coming up. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, arms are coming up. If this is too tough or it's starting to make your neck already uh, not happy, then just grab your elbows or you could have your hands on your hips. So whatever makes, makes it fun for you. You're going to lift your left toes and press all the left toes individually, if you can, back onto the floor. Micro bend your left knee. Reach up with your arms and hover the right foot. So already, okay, our theme today is wobbling is wonderful. Now, a lot can be stabilized by pulling your belly button into your backbone. Uddiyana Bandha. Keep reaching up. If you want a little bit more <laughs> um, challenge, start moving your eyes up the wall to your thumbs. Hmm. And then if you've tried that already, I'm not doing it today, um, everybody has a chance to select what's interesting to them. Uh, looking forward now, I'd like you to close your eyes. Wobbling even more. Drop your right foot. Notice the heat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend your elbows. Thumbs behind your heart. Inhale, reach up. Lift your right toes. Spread them. Really feel the four corners of your feet. And then press the right toes individually into the floor, best as you can. Micro bend that right knee. Inhale, reach up. Left leg hovers. Spread, spread, spread your left toes. Those of you who feel stable here can start moving your eyes up the wall, ceiling intersection, and then eventually to your thumbs. Breathe. Wobbling is wonderful. Looking forward, spreading your toes, inhaling again, exhale, close your eyes. Woo! Woo! Notice how much your eyes have to do with your balance. Drop your left foot, inhale, reach up, exhale, swan dive down. Give those shoulders and arms a little bit of a break. So first forward bend, we just hang here, raggedy doll. Ha! <sighs> Feel the heat, the heat of just these little balances. Mm. And then leaning back into your heels, lift your toes, 
Inhale, halfway lift, but also land your hands onto the tops of your femurs. The hips going back, the head going forward. Feel everything. Pull your belly in. Mm, press through those toes. Come on up. Nice. All right, another balance, standing balance. So you're going to lift your left toes again, micro bend your left knee, and you can, we'll start with grass, shrub, and trees. Okay, so you're going to rotate your right knee out, your toes are, right toes are still on the floor, your right heel is in the left ankle. Try, grab your hips so that the hips are even. Yeah. And so this is the grass pose. Bring your hands into the middle of your chest, thumbs touching the sternum. And then inhale, bring your arms up. And remember, you can grab your elbows. You can do whatever you'd like with your arms. That's not important. What we're doing is trying to figure out where we need stability for balance here. Bring your arms way up if you're doing that. And then once again, you have the option of moving your eyes up to wall ceiling intersection and all the way to your thumbs. Breathe. If you've tried that, come, come on down. Look at something that's stabilizing. Exhale. Left thumb or thumbs to your sternum, elbows out. <sighs> Hands on your hips. Rotate that foot. Land your right foot. Spread your right foot. Bend your right knee. Rotate your left toes out. Land your heel on the inside of your right thigh. Now micro bend your knees. Get everything organized for yourself. And then work on your bandhas. So don't pee on the mat. Pull the belly button into the backbone. Have a beautiful long neck, but know where your chin lock is. Inhale, arms coming up. <sighs> Exhale, feel. Remember that you're just noticing in a really playful way what is your body having to do in order to do this very simple balance. Exhale, elbows out, thumbs touching the sternum. Breathe. If you want a challenge at this point, close your eyes. Woo! Notice what has to happen. Watch your body. Your body is so genius at this. It has so much experience. Open your eyes. Notice how your balance gets so much better. That's why we use Drishti or a gazing point whenever we're doing all of our poses. Feet come together. Now we're going into shrub. So shrub is anywhere. Let me just lift this so that I can get the connection between skin to skin. Anywhere between your knee and your ankle. So inhale, your chest is coming up. Exhale, hands in the middle. Thumbs touching the sternum. And then when you're ready and steady, you bring your arms up. You can have Yahoo arms. You can have whatever arms work for you. If this is, a, is becoming difficult for your balance sequence today, go against a wall. There's no, it doesn't matter. Every day is so different. Exhale, thumbs into your sternum. Those of you who would like to experiment and have a laugh with closing your eyes, go ahead. This is the time to do it. And then on the next exhale, right foot comes on the floor. Nice. Other side. You're going to take the left foot. <clears throat> You're going to put it I like skin on skin because then I know what I'm doing. I'm pushing the, the shin bone towards the foot gently and the foot towards the shin bone. Pull the belly in. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, feel. <sighs> Pull that belly in. This is the thing that is going to help you throughout all of your balance poses. Those of you who want to bring your arms up, those of you who want to close your eyes, go ahead and do that and smile when you fall out of your pose. Exhale. Thumbs touching the sternum. Left foot comes on the floor. Now we're going to do tree, full tree, with some variations. 
So spread your left toes, micro bend your left knee, can grab your right ankle, can bring that foot, whoop, the inside of that thigh. Make sure you have a drishti. I'm looking at my light switch, the corner of my light switch at the moment. Thumbs touching the sternum. Pick something that is either six to eight feet across the room and not necessarily on the floor unless you have to. So tree pose. Foot is pushing on the leg. The leg is pushing on the foot. Bring your arms up. Exhale, right hand goes past the right knee. Inhale, reach up again through the left side of your body. And then a slight tilt over to the right. Just do your best. I'm really wobbly today. It's kind of fun. Inhale, hands coming up. Exhale, thumbs into sternum. Woo, I toppled, yay. Right foot comes onto the floor, bend your right knee, feel all four corners of your right foot, grab your left ankle, woo, woo. <laughs> I'm gonna go against the wall. I would suggest you guys go against the wall if you have to. So, left foot coming in, hands in the middle of the chest, and now I can feel confident that the whole body is in alignment. Inhale, bring your arms up. I'm going to take my fingers, I'm against the wall, but I'm going to take my next fingers and I'm going to move my body away from the wall so that I have a chance. Nice. Left hand goes past the left knee. Inhale, right arm bone goes up and just tilt over a little bit. Ah. Feels good. Inhale, left arm comes up. If you've already done that, exhale. Thumbs into the sternum. Nice. Release, shake that out. Shake out the memory of the effort. So whatever that means, whatever shaky thing you're doing. We're gonna take right foot in front and left foot back. We're gonna be in a line. So right foot, left foot behind the right foot. This really does a lot of confusing for the body because we're always, we're not balanced in this. So take your hands onto your hips. You're going to move into the balls of your feet, lifting your heels. And notice what has to happen here. Breathing. Ha. Ah. And then dropping your left foot Lift your right knee into your chest, already balancing. You can bring your arms out to the side or arms up. Right toes are facing the floor. Flex and point your right foot. Ah, should feel some warmth coming up. And then land that, that right ball of your foot back on the floor. And then lean forward, your arms are up now. This is gonna take a little bit more work. Both heels lifted, arms coming forward. Oh, bend both knees, pull belly in. Know where your shoulders are, know where your head is, know where your pelvis is. As you come down, lifting your heels best as you can. Inhale, come on up, arms coming up. Exhale, land back into your heels. Hands on hips, Whew. take a moment, and it's so much fun when there's the other side. This other side for me is always wobbly, so I always have like a big laugh over this. Um, left foot in front of right foot. And I like to tell people, there's lots of times in your day where you can practice balancing. Um, brushing your teeth is an excellent one. Flossing your teeth is an excellent one. Um, all those things where we can throw our bodies out of balance exactly like this, left foot lined up behind right foot. You can have your hands on your hips here so that you know you're even. Take an inhale into your chest. Exhale, lift both heels. Yeah, both heels. 
looking at a drishti, a gazing point, breathing, noticing what has to happen in order that you can hold this pose. Some of you will have difficulty, you might be cramping, that's okay, just deal with it. Lean back into your right heel. Ooh, bring your left knee up. And then bring your arms up. And then flex and point your left toe. Micro bend your right knee. You want to use the stability of your muscles to help with your pelvis as you inhale, you exhale, flex, point. Just do your best. Then left foot comes forward. Arms coming forward, micro, not, don't micro bend, but both heels lifted, pulling belly in, come on down as best you can. Yeah, and then, you know, wobbling is wonderful. So good. Nice. Inhale, come on up, bring your arms up. Your heels are still lifted. Exhale, drop back into your heels. Hands on your hips. Woo! Bring your feet forward. <clears throat> Inhale, we're gonna do some salutations now. Inhale, arms coming up, look up. Exhale, arms close into your body. So you stick your butt back and you feel all the transitions to come into this second forward bend today. Remember, you can have your blocks at the top of your mat for your fingers, so do what you need to do for that. Separate your feet. Toes are lifted. Inhale. Mm. Exhale. Forward bending with chest and thighs together. Elbows out to the side. Ooh. And then just feel what you need to feel for this. How much warmth you created by standing balance poses. There are many, many to choose from. Just did a little tiny selection today. Somebody has their mic on, please close it. <laughs> Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, plant your hands and step back into plank. Inhale, high plank, drop your heels. Now you'll notice with this plank that you feel very strong because we used a lot of, we woke up a lot of muscles. We woke up the circulation by doing our balance work. Fingertips are pressing into the mat. Pull your forearms towards each other. Yep, have fun here. This is almost like a balance pose, but not really. We have all four things on the floor. Inhale, curl forward on your tippy toes. Tuck tail. Knees come onto the floor. Shoelace side of the feet come on the floor. And let's just release, let some heat go through our bodies and do a, a survey. Let your wrists relax. Those of you who are doing a lot of keyboarding and all the other things that we're forced to do right now, or forced to, in terms of making our living and communicating, our wrists and our shoulders are getting a pretty big workout, so let's just uh, let them have their space. Mm. Breathing. Uh, just feel all that warmth, how nice it is. Bring your hands forward and then stick your butt back. Fingers really wide. Middle fingers are parallel. I want you to shift from left to right so that you really are starting to feel your waistline. You're looking for, this is called, and there's various names, but we'll call it puppy dog. And then inhale, curl forward, angry cat. Lots of animals in yoga, apparently. Pressing through your fingertips, re-tuck your toes. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, down dog. But a nice, easy down dog with your chest and your thighs together. And maybe you're moving one foot and the other foot, or the one knee and the other knee, so that you can feel the release in your hips. Mm. Breathing, ears near your arms. Bring your left knee into your chest, flex your left foot, left foot forward. 
drop your right knee, fingertips on either side of that left foot, know where your big toes are, inhale, pull with your hands forward or to the back, and then exhale, I like to walk my left foot forward so that I have the space. Now pull the belly button into the backbone, don't pee on the mat, and then exhale, elbows out to the side, dive into your hamstring, left hamstring, dig that left heel in, try to attract it to the right knee, the right back toe, have everything working for you, keep your heat up, inhale, come forward onto that foot, front knee over ankle, lift the back knee, press the back heel on the floor, if you have blocks, this is a nice thing to do if your hands are sore or you want a break. Get your hands right underneath your block. Yeah. Breathe. Press the back heel away. Curl your back a lot. Pull the belly in. Left heel digging into the mat. I'm going to move my blocks back so that they're right underneath my shoulders. Roll the right hip forward. Left hip back. Really concentrate on curling everything in. It's like you're sucking your chest and all your organs all the way back into your spine, into your back body. Pull your forearms towards each other and see if you can't imagine lifting your left foot. Oh my goodness. And then moving. It's, all, it's always easier on the blocks. Left foot back into down dog. Inhale, come forward into plank. Exhale, drop your knees. Inhale, come forward again. Exhale, chaturanga. If you're using your blocks, just move them aside. Mine were too, too close to each other. And then all 10 toenails on the floor. Inhale, little cobra. Exhale, hover your hands. Hover your hands. Whoa, fingers really wide. Armpits closed. Press those toenails into the floor. Inhale, a little bit more. See if we can come up one tenth of a millimeter. And then exhale, hands on the blocks or hands on your mat. Bend your knees, soles of feet to the ceiling. Pull your belly button in first as you exhale and move into active child's pose. And then give your wrists space. Breathing, ears near your arms. Toes are tucked. Oh, inhaling, exhaling. Press through the palms of your hands. Curl your back, angry cat. Exhale, up dog. Press those heels away. Walk your dog forward so that you know your shoulders are being pulled back. Feel how this feels. Really feel your legs working here. Inhale into your chest. Exhale, press down and forward as you move into down dog, either hands on the mat or hands on your block, whatever works for you. Ears near your arms. The longer your dog, the stronger your core, Uddiyana Bandha, Mula Bandha, as long, uh, the stronger those are in your practice, the more you can press down and forward and move the weight from your wrists to your feet. Breathing. Mm. Bring your right knee into your chest. Curl your back a lot. Take your time as you pull everything into the center. You're going to bring your right knee into chest. Look at your right thumb. Land your right foot. Ooh. Drop your left knee, monkey pose. Take your time here. <clears throat> Feel the release. If you need to, walk inchworm your right foot forward. You want to have your left hip on top of your left knee. Back toes are tucked. Dig your right heel in. Spread your right toes. Inhale. Open up your chest, pulling the hands towards the back of the mat. Exhale. Elbows up to the side. Chest and thighs together. Toes spread. Ah. Say hello to your right hamstring. Squish your inner thighs. Continually try to straighten your hips. 
best you can, even if you can't see them, pull right hip back, left hip forward, energetically try to bring the inner thighs towards each other. Pull belly in. Walk into your front foot. Inhale, pull everything open. Feel the front of your left hip flexor. Exhale, <laughs> lift your left knee. Press the back heel away. Yeah. If you want to use your blocks for the next thing, get your blocks organized right underneath your shoulders. Your feet are hip width apart. This helps a lot. Dig your right heel in. Curl your back a lot. Take a moment to understand what curling your back is. It's pressing down and forward with the palms of your hands, pulling your forearms towards each other, zipping up your core. Left heel is lifted. Left knee can even be a little bit bent. You're looking at your right toes. You curl your back a lot. You inhale into that. Exhale, hover your right foot best you can. Whoa, and then right foot comes back into down dog. Let's floss the spine. Inhale, curl forward. Going into plank, but not really. Exhale, blast your eyes and heart forward. Bend your knees a lot. Chest and thighs coming together. Inhale it like you're a balloon and your pelvis is going to lift. And then exhale, straighten us your legs. Ah, ears and arms together. Let's try that again. Inhale, curl forward. Exhale, bend your knees, chest and thighs. Ex inhale again. Hips lift. Exhale, feet on floor. We'll do it one more time with breath. Inhale, curl forward. Exhale, bend your knees, chest and thighs together. Inhale, pelvis lifts to the ceiling. Exhale, straighten us your legs. Inhale, curl forward. Exhale, knees on the floor. Exactly same time. Undo to shoelace side of your feet. Sit back and feel. Put the palms of your hands. After many years of teaching, <clears throat> these moments where we feel have become the foundation of everything I do, everything I teach, I feel that it's like the core of understanding and being encouraged in this practice, even when we do hard stuff. So when we have a chance either in Japanese seated posture or in a child's pose, you should send that relaxation message. You should be washing your body with breath. Oh, feels so good. So we're going to do some more balance. I'm going to come up to all fours, fingers really wide. You're going to know where your left, you can either be on shoelace side of the left foot or you can tuck left toes. I like tucking toes. I have a high arch so this feels good for me. Left hand is going to be on the floor, right hand on the floor for this one. And then you're going to just reach your right leg back and you're going to have your tippy, uh, not the tippy toes, but the toenails of the right foot on the floor. Now I want you to note, because this is where we're using everything to observe, how this destabilized you. What can you do to stabilize? You can pull your forearms towards each other. Pull the belly in, know where your left toe is. The back of your head <clears throat> is going to this ceiling. I'm looking at the camera, but your head should be elong, you know, your neck should be elongated. Your eyes could be between your thumbs. Keep zipping everything up. Inhale into your body. Feel how that elongates everything. Exhale, right leg is going to come parallel to the floor. It's a very simple move. We're concentrating on what does my body have to do in order to hold this pose so I feel confident, my breath is perfect. Yeah. Nice. Drop your toenails, right toenails to the floor. Ha, notice. 
Bend your right knee, bring your right knee underneath your right hip. If this was tough on your, we'll, we'll take a moment for our wrists. If this was tough on your wrist. Sit back in Japanese, see the posture. Oh, that feels good. Come down on, on all fours. Fingers really wide. Zip everything up. Pull your belly button into your backbone. Forearms towards each other. Know where your right knee is. Know where your right big toe is. Stretch your left leg back. Take your time noticing differences left and right. We all have a more flexible, stronger side, stronger limbs, more flexible limbs, all those things. Now, inhale so your head is going forward and you feel, you feel your spine lengthening as those left toes are just slightly touching the floor. And then on an exhale, you're going to just bring your left leg parallel to the floor. Now, I don't know if my leg is parallel to the floor, but, you know, do your best. You don't have to look at it. You have to just feel it. I'm noticing wobbling. Pull the forearms towards each other. That helps to stabilize. And your belly button into the backbone. Mmm. Drop your left toes. Ha, and then notice how your body reacts. It goes, oh, I don't have to do as much work, or I don't have to think about it. Of course, it's the body thinking about it, not you. And then left knee into chest. So all fours. <clears throat> now we're gonna wake up our brains and build some brain cells. So you're going to feel your right hand and your left knee. You're going to bring that right leg back again. You're going to lift your left arm. You're going to lift the right leg. Find a drishti, a gazing point. Left hand, left arm, right leg. Notice what's happening. Pull your belly in. Try to smile at the wobbling. Nice work. On an exhale, left hand comes down. Right knee comes down. Good work. Left leg goes back. Pull the belly button in, zip up your core, feel like you know what's coming up and that you can handle it. Inhale, right leg, right arm comes up. Exhale, left leg comes up. Breathe, breathe. Feel like right fingers and left toes are really trying to be away from each other. Observe all the genius adjustments that your body is doing precisely at this moment. Right hand comes down, left knee comes down. This next thing is a challenge for me. I hope it's a challenge for you. <clears throat> We're gonna do the same side. Woo! Right hand, right knee, left leg goes back. Left arm comes forward. Oh, that's not happening for me today. Left leg comes up, wobbling, oh, falling. I hope you're doing better, or hope you're having fun. Left hand comes on the floor, right hand, left knee, right knee. <clears throat> Lean into your left hand, your left knee, extend your right leg back, pull your belly in. Notice how much wobbling when you bring your right arm bone up. Nice. Woo! <laughs> right hand comes down, right knee comes down. Sit back, feel the heat, flip the palms of your hands. Fun. So one of the challenging things uh, on balance work on the floor is when we do something that's totally, we have no familiarity in terms of gravity. Many of you have done this over the years with me. So we're going to lie down on the right side. <clears throat> that's going to feel good initially. You're going to stack your left leg over your right. Some of you have enjoyed this in the past. And if you want to have your head underneath a block, that would be good to start with. You're going to take your right arm. I didn't set this up as best as I would like. But anyway, right arm right underneath your whole body with the palm of your hand kind of cupping your thigh bone. Woo. And left hand is stabilizing. Flex your left toes and your left leg, your left and right leg. 
<clears throat> I'm starting off just adjusting, just letting my body figure out what I'm asking. My head is on my block. You can do that as well, or you can just hold your head away from the floor, from your mat. <clears throat> Left fingertips on the floor. Flex your feet, pull your belly button into backbone. Feel like everything is working for you, and then slowly, slowly, see if you can't bring your left arm bone, make sure you have a drishti, up to the ceiling. <sighs> Palm open to the floor, open to the wall. I'm concentrating so much, I've lost all my words. My verbs, my nouns. <laughs> And then left hand comes back on the floor <clears throat> in front of your face. And now I, I still want you to work on this balance. I would like you to see if you can take your left leg off the right leg and see how far you can bring it up. Pull your belly in. <sighs> Notice what is helping you. If you were to hover your left fingers at this point, just a millimeter off your mat or off the floor, you're going to see your body trying to figure stuff out. And then left leg goes down, hands coming onto your mat, roll onto your tummies, one hand on top of the other, just feel the heat, forehead on top of that. Breathing. making sure that your breath is calming down so that you can use everything you have to for the other side. So if you're using your block, use your block. Left arm is now going to, we're going to roll onto the left side of our body. Left arm coming underneath. Make sure that your shoulder is away from your left ear to so go on the left side. Ooh. Your right arm bone is in, kind of in front of your right hand and arm bone are in front of your face to stabilize. As you flex your feet and start adjusting, letting your body adjust to what you're asking. <clears throat> Which is the pelvis and all the muscles that support you when you are standing and walking in the world. Those are not the same as what's happening here. <clears throat> Flexing, belly button into backbone, don't pee on the mat, and now start moving your right arm bone up. Breathe, drishti, drishti, gazing point. Breathe, keep watching and be amused by what your body needs to do in order to balance on its side. Nice work. If you've fallen, that's great. Just get back into it. Then right arm bone comes in front of the face using fingertips if you'd like. Pull your belly in again. Reflex your feet. Reconnect with what needs to be strong. And then right leg comes up. As high. Oh, so interesting. As high as you can. Pulling belly in, and maybe you, <laughs> you hover, losing my words, hover your right fingers off the mat, and, you, and you're moving, and you're wobbling, and that's great. And then on an exhale, oh, slowly, slowly, don't shock the body. Right leg is going to come down, and then roll onto your spine, roll onto your tummy, <clears throat> hand over hand, forehead on top of that, and then shift the hips from left to right. It's time to do our um, poses before we go into Shavasana. I know you're excited about Shavasana. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, bend your knees, soles of feet to the ceiling, press down and forward, and move into active child's pose. Bring your fingertips forward. Remember, you can use your blocks if your fingertips or your wrists are a little tired. 
You're going to tuck those toes. You're going to press those fingertips forward so they can feel all the benefits of waking up your body today. Hmm. There's so many interesting variations we can do on balance. This was just a little bit of a, an introduction. Coming forward onto your shoulders in Angry Cat, I'd like you to really pull the belly button into the backbone. Eyes are going through your knees and you see the edges of your big toes. Press down and forward, really feel the work in your whole spine. Exhale, cow, cow, cow. Bend your elbows and pull, pull, pull. Oh, that feels so good. Inhale, curl your back a lot. Pull the belly in. Back of your heart is the highest thing. Exhale, cow. Bend, bend, bend. Oh. And then come to neutral. And then just roll onto whatever side you'd like. Bring your legs forward, bend your knees, soles of feet on the floor. And with this transition, if your feet start to lift, you need to bring your feet a little closer. So I'm going to show with blocks today because that's fun if you have them. Uh, you don't need blocks, you could have just a really thick book. <laughs> and bring your arm bones forward and press. So we're trying to use all the muscles in our arms to help with this. So inhale, arms coming up. Exhale, first thing, tuck tail, pubic bone to sternum. Keep pressing those leg bones. Keep pressing your hands. The fingers are really wide. Again, if your feet start to disconnect with the floor, then bring them closer to your butt. If it gets to be too difficult, holding this, then I need you to inhale, come on up, give encouragement to your body, and then exhale, slide through. Pubic bone to sternum, all muscles towards the bones. It's a beautiful thing. When you come down, you get the reward, the reward after effort. When you come down, if you have the blocks, you're going to bring your legs up, squish, still squishing the blocks, your arms are over your face. You're still squishing the block. You're going to bring the block behind you on the floor. Bend your knees, soles of feet on the floor. Scarecrow arms, remove the blocks. Scarecrow arms, palms open to the ceiling. Knees together, feet apart. Oh, just feel the back of your heart just settle. All the spaces. I'm already feeling I need to inchworm my torso a little bit further away from my pelvis. That's a good thing. We're going to do a very simple twist today. You're going to bring your feet together. Have your blocks nearby or your blankie or something so that you can use it if your twist is not the best for you today. You're going to come onto your tippy toes, lift your hips, put your left hip on the floor, allow your knees to fall over to the left, dig your elbows in, move your body over to the left, reposition your arms scarecrow style. <clears throat> you can use your block to build up the earth towards your body, either underneath left leg. Many people need to put a block between their knees, whatever you do. That's, that's, do you. You can take your right hand for this simple twist today and push your right femur, go right into the top of your right femur and push it towards the top of your mat in this case or the bottom of your mat, however position you are in, but push it away. Feel what that is doing. It's creating more space. And then <sighs> inhale into your chest so you feel it, exhale, feet come onto the floor, rearrange your hips in line with your shoulders, interlock your fingers to the web and give your neck a nice little massage by elbows in and helping stretch the back of your neck by lifting your head with your hands. Carefully allow your head to come back down onto the floor, tippy toes, lift your hips, 
Put your right hip back on the floor. Allow your knees to go to the right. Dig your elbows in. Rearrange whatever you need to do. Scarecrow style. Relax back of your hands. Just noticing if this side needs some support with blocks or blankets. No judging. Your body is just doing its best to support you. Breathing. Mm. And if you need to inchworm your body a little bit further away, then go ahead. Ah. Inhaling. Exhaling. Ah. So nice. Try to see if you can't let go of whatever you're holding on. Left hand can now reach for that left top of left femur. Push it away so that you have more space on your left side. And then come back to scarecrow arms and the back of your heart. Relax. <sighs> And then feet come onto the mat behind your buttocks, behind your hips, press down, rearrange your hips in line with your shoulders, interlock your fingers for webbing, bring the hands behind your head, elbows in, stretch the back of your neck, that feels so good. Allow your head to come back down to the ground. Roll onto one side, push yourself up, this is the place in the practice where you either get our next video on Shavasana or you arrange your own music or you arrange your blankies and you just arrange yourself. Thank you so much for playing with balance today and gravity and I hope the rest of your day, the rest of your evening are wonderful. I'm so grateful that you're joining me. Namaste.